Um, the xylem is used to transport water and minerals from the roots up to the leaves and other parts of the plant. And the tissue consists of tubes to carry the water and dissolve minerals. Um, it is made from dead cells aligned end to end to form a continuous column. And the tubes are quite narrow so the water column doesn't break easily and capillary action can be effective. There's pits in the walls, like shown here, these little tiny white pits. Um, and these allow water to move sideways from one vessel to the other. Um, the lingon, which is deposited in the walls, um, allows the xylem to stretch as the plant grows and enables the stem or branch to bend. Um, the reason the flow of water and minerals isn't like stopped is because there are no walls, there are no cell contents, there's no nucleus or cytoplasm, and lingon thickening prevents the walls from collapsing. The structure of the phloem is slightly different as its function is to transport sugars from one part of the plant to another, which could mean they could go up or down the cell. Uh, stem. <laughs> phloem tissue consists of two types of cell, the sieve tube elements and companion cells, which can be seen here. Sieve tube, companion cell. Um, the sieve tube, element, sieve tube elements are not true cells as they contain very little cytoplasm and no nucleus and they're lined end to end in a tube, just like in the xylem. Um, the sucrose is dissolved into the water to form a sap. Unlike xylem vessels, the tube contains cross walls at intervals. The cross walls are perforated by many pores to allow the sap to flow through. Hence, the cross walls are called sieve plates, and, and this is why the tubes are called sieve tubes, which can be seen here. Um, Another thing they have is the sieve tubes have very thin walls and are usually five or six sided. The companion cells are in between the sieve tubes and they have a large nucleus and dense cytoplasm. Uh, these companion cells have numerous mitochondria to produce ATP needed for active pro processes. The companion cells carry out metabolic processes. Um, which includes using ATP as a sort of source of energy to load sucrose into the sieve tubes. The cytoplasm of the companion cell and sieve tube elements are linked through many plasmodesmata, shown here. These um, gappy These gaps in the cell walls allow communication and the flow of minerals between the two cells.